From the strange and unexplained to the things that go bump in the night, this program has been created to help you survive against the very real threats in this world. These are the Creature Files. <gasps> Creature File number 16, Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers are an unusual group of beings that trace their origins to the southeastern parts of the United States, but have been sighted all over North America. They are part of indigenous folklore with the Navajo people having the closest connection to the beings. In simple terms, a skinwalker seems to be some kind of witch or ancestral spirit that has the ability to take on many animal forms that are significant to the Navajo people, including but not limited to coyotes, eagles, deer, and even bears. It is believed that one becomes a skinwalker after performing a ritual that is considered taboo amongst the Navajo people, and it's often a perversion of a healing ritual that allows an individual to change their form by using a piece of an animal. In the 1800s, skinwalkers often wore pelts of the animals they changed into. However, in modern times, this can be a dead giveaway, so they often choose to conceal smaller pieces like teeth or fur to allow for transformation. Navajo folklore even warns that a skinwalker may be able to change into another person altogether with just a few locks of hair. They will often lure people into the woods by imitating the voice of friends or in some cases, the cries of a baby. Skinwalkers are not a world-ending threat but are incredibly dangerous to any individuals who may seek them out or be unlucky enough to cross paths with one. For this reason, it's even considered taboo to say skinwalker out loud as it has the potential to mark you as a target by them. Fortunately, skinwalkers do have weaknesses that make identifying them and stopping them fairly simple. Firstly, when a skinwalker is in its animal form, it usually has white fur or feathers, regardless of the animal it turns into. On top of that, any injury it sustains while in that animal form is still there when it reverts into a human being, making it harder for them to blend into a community. While bullets can injure a skinwalker, they can over time recover from the wound with one exception. The Navajo believe that a single bullet rolled in white ash can stop a skinwalker in its tracks if it takes the bullet to the neck. We have been working closely with members of the Navajo to try to contain these creatures with no luck so far. This concludes creature file number 16, Skinwalkers. Tune in throughout the week and the rest of this month for more survival tips and creature portfolios. And as always, stay safe out there. <laughs>